Hello guys, I'm Apeno David Bright and this is the team. I'm Dan Pascal. I'm Wako Charles. I'm David Taylor. Brent Pokemon. In this video, we are going to talk on a project we did, which is an online bus reservation system, which we built a database for. Now, in this online bus reservation system, we plan and we aim to eliminate some difficulties that we face in booking buses manually. We are all used to the system of manual bus booking in Ghana, where you have to join long queues and waste time. Sometimes, I mean, after buying your tickets, you, are, you lose your tickets and all these stresses count for the reason why we plan to do this project. Now in our project, the users and the customers will be able to book their tickets online, enter their details online from the comfort of their homes without any time wasting. And also their tickets will be assured since there's a, beta, a database to save the records we have. In the subsequent video, we are going to demonstrate how the system is going to work, how users will book their tickets online. Thank you. Please like, subscribe to our channel and share this video thank you david for the brief explanation my name is charles and i would like to walk us through how our projects work and how we are going to book the bus because it's an online reservation system before that our project is in two folds and we have the admin page we have the users page also so suppose you are a user you have to log in and sign in and do a lot of things and also an admin because you've been employed at the company you have to also log in and so that your identities and everything will be captured so i'll go to my browser so as an admin this is the interface that you are going to see so this mail here is just a default mail that we use for it and the password but be before you can access this one you have to what create an account here so i will sign in and the page will show so on this dashboard we have sales this month and we have sales currently or sales that we acquire daily we have the profile we have the bookings we have the tickets we have buses we have destination and we have drivers so with the bookings let's go into the booking so when i click on the bookings, this is what i see the bookings shows the bookings that the users have made and the ticket also gives opportunity for us to delete tickets and for us to also add tickets so at the destination you can add new destinations to it that's the opportunity that site also give us and we have the drivers the drivers also help us to add drivers new drivers and also remove the old ones maybe if they are not available or they couldn't come to work that day so this is the users page with the users page we have sign in and we have the register so with the sign in this is what we have we have the sign in don't have an account sign up so bef before you can sign in you have to sign up the sign in also have this interface and we have the create accounts requesting for your name your last name your email and your contacts with a strong password but because we have an account already we will just log in over here and sign in so here we have the available trips we have temale to winnipeg we have winnipeg to adenta we have ejura to akusombo all with their prices there so i want to go to koforidia i'm at ifiekuma i want to go to koforidia i will just tap on it or oh, I'll just click on it then I'll book the bus so here we have the date we have the time we have the bus name and we have the driver's name also here so we also have the quantity maybe you want 10 tickets then you just add it then you book your bus after booking everything will be captured at the admin dashboard so I would like my brother Steven to walk us through the database aspect yes thank you okay thank you charles i'll take it from here i'm here to take you through the entity relation and we have our entities and their various attributes we have our admin here we have our driver we have our users here we have our destination for where the uh, bus will take you to we have our ticket in case you book a ticket 
we have our biases here we have our booking details we have our booking and there are various attributes under every entity thank you okay i'll let my brother edward davis to take you through the codes behind this website all right thank you steven so um, i'll continue from here my name is davis edward all right so um what you're seeing on screen now is the escrow code we use for the projects and you can see we created a table for all the entities we have available in our um, entity relation diagram here yeah. and also we also use atm of our front end here yeah. so you can see that we have our atm code here and at this side you can see all the pictures we used for our projects all right yeah so um all the images we use here are also in our code yeah. so we also made use of the sample the examples helps help us to host our web app on the web. It was the same as a local host for us, so um, that was this for the um, ZAMP. So we use ZAMP and we use PHP, JavaScript, and HTML for the front end. So that was it for the code for now. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for watching this amazing video. I would please ask you to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much.